Hi y'all, it's Sunshine. I hope everybody's doing well. Um, things are here okay, doing okay. Um, the exciting news is I almost have a page finish on Pandemic. I'm right here and I've got to do this piece and then this page will be finished. I'm super excited about that. Um, been working on this for a while now and I feel like I'm not making a lot of progress but I mean it is a lot of stitches per page it's not as bad as Hade but it's it's close it's it's really close so let me show you where I'm at now mind you I had to move the Q-snap so that the top part you're not seeing oh come on I got to do some of this work down here and this page will be finished so I'm pretty excited about that I'm still nowhere closer to being finished with this crochet piece and I really think I'm going to undo it and I know you're thinking sunshine why undo this mess well here's the thing guys I've only got this much left which is not very much. I don't think it's going to make it to a full, a full shawl. Because it's not very long. It's not very long at all. I would probably need another three balls to finish this. So, I'm going to undo it and figure something else out with this yarn. And I know that's a lot of work down the trash, but it is what it is. I got my metal loom and I've already made two hot pads or hold hot hold pot holders, hot pads, whatever you want to call them. So got that accomplished. And when I ordered this, I ordered it with more loops. These are cotton blend, so I can use these for hot pad holders. So, but it came with a whole bag of them as is. So, it is. But yeah, that's what I've got so far. Um, I did a live video the other night, and it was so cool. Uh, those that came by, I appreciate you coming by and stopping by. I didn't announce the announce a live because I just went ahead and did it. Um, and if y'all were there, y'all were there. If you weren't, you weren't. I know people are busy. I get it. Especially with no notice. So, um, But I felt like it went smoothly and had a good time. And um, so, yeah. And I colored my hair. Now, I color my own hair. I don't go to a salon. Because I have a lot of hair. A lot of hair. And I'm very thankful for my hair. And so... For a salon to do this, they said most places say you got to put about four bowlfuls of dye, and it was going to cost me about $160, $200. I don't have the patience or the time for that, or the finances for that really. So I go and do my own hair, and um, this is the $3 box dye from the dollar store, and I use about I use two bottles. Um, I didn't get my grays right here, but that's okay. I don't care. Um, but I used two bottles. I probably should have used three. But anyway, I decided I need to do something with this hair. I was tired of it looking gray and, and horrible. Yeah, and I got it on my scalp, but I didn't put the Vaseline down. It'll wash off eventually. So anyway, um, and I'm out of needle minders, so I went ahead and ordered a couple off of Sandra's Stitch and Stash. They're super cute. They should be here sometime next week. Their shipping has always been a little slow, but it's coming from Ohio, so I get it. But I did, when I went to my camper, I did get um, my Rare Earth Magnets out of there. So I can make my needle binders now once I get E6000. So anything I really like, I can turn into a magnet. 
Um, I could even take this cowgirl milk thing and turn it into a magnet. But I love my scissor charm too much to do that. So it's going to stay it's going to stay together with me. So Anyway, I thought I had something in here. Oh, right here. I've got a necklace charm that I could add a glue a piece of paper in there that I really like and make it a needle binder. I could do that and uh, it just depends on what I want to do. So, and while I was at my camper, I found this necklace that my dear friend had given me. Um, he's a truck driver, so he goes to Love's truck stops and they sell glass work. Well, this was a um, hand-blown glass um, necklace, and I've never worn it because I don't want to mess it up. But isn't that gorgeous? It matches my butterfly tattoo. I love butterflies. And um, he uh, found it one time at a truck stop. And uh, I don't know if you've ever seen my butterfly tattoo. So, anyway, yep, I'm going to work on the pandemic and try to get it dealt with. Um, somebody was asking me about what knitting machine I use. I use the Centro. I think that's how it's spelled or called. I don't know. But it's, um, I think it's like 40-something pegs. 40... 47, 40, 48, 48 peg, and it makes hats really fast. This was a gift from my dear friend, um, and I love it. I love this thing, and uh, I'm going to have to probably put some lube in it because it's kind of making a little bit of a noise that tells me that I need to get some lube, but you just can't put anything on this. You have to use a certain... It's a whitish lube and it's made for plastic gears and stuff. So you got to be very careful doing that. So for now, I'm just going to let it ride because it's not, it's not a noticeable, let's see, it's not a noticeable um, noise. Um, when yarn's on there, it's a little worse, but uh, it's nothing like major. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing major. They just, it probably needs a very good cleaning and um, maybe a little bit of lube. So, anyway, we are still cooking, making hats, and um, I think I'm going to turn that yarn that I'm going to undo that crochet project. I'm going to mix it with something and make a hat on it. So, anyway, guys, y'all take care. I love you, and I hope y'all spread peace, love, and kindness. Be blessed and bless others. You never know what somebody else is going through, guys. Take care.